When building any website, you'll want to make a habit of uploading as few images and files as possible. Not only will this help you organize things on the back end, it will also help to minimize your storage size. In this Shopify tutorial for beginners, I'll show you how to delete images from your Shopify store that you're no longer using. And if you're building a Shopify store, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials along with videos on how to market your products. So earlier today, I created a new homepage slider in this Shopify store. However, when I went to preview it, the images weren't very crisp on my monitor. I have since fixed it, but when I was testing, I was using a 27 inch screen and I wanted to make sure that the site looked good no matter what size of screen the customer was using. So I went into Photoshop, created larger images and updated the slider, which looks good now, but the older, smaller images are still sitting on the Shopify store, taking up storage unnecessarily. So if we head on back to our Shopify admin, we can get rid of them by heading down to settings in the bottom left-hand corner. And once you're in settings, we'll head on down to files near the bottom here. And this is where you're going to see all of your site's files. So right now we only have images in here, but had you uploaded a PDF, for example, you would see that in here as well. So the top four images here are the newer, larger images that are of better quality. So I'm going to keep those, but these bottom four images are the smaller, older images that I want to get rid of. So we're simply going to select them. And then we'll go ahead and hit this delete files button. Shopify will then pop up a warning message saying that this cannot be undone and the files will be removed from all places they're being used in your Shopify store. So this is a good reminder to make sure that, you know, these images aren't sitting in other places. For example, let's say I didn't need these four images for the homepage slider anymore, but perhaps I have forgotten that I used one for the contact page. If that was the case, I could just cancel it and unselect the one image on the contact page. So again, it's just a reminder to make sure that you aren't using these images in other places. So once you're sure and you're good to go, we can go ahead and hit that delete button. And that's it. You now know how to delete images from your Shopify store. For more Shopify tutorials and videos on how to market your products, be sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.